Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. I'm coming at y'all with a brand new custom video. Let's get 3,000 likes on this one, please. 3,000 likes, 3,000 likes. You guys got me, right? 3,000? A lot of effort went into making this video. I did film it during one of the hottest days that we've had all summer, so please, Smash that like button for me. And if you want to peep out my work early, feel free to do so on Snups. The name is Sneakerhead in the Bay, and download links will be down below in the description if you don't have the app already. But anyways, this is a long video, so it's time to sit back, relax, and eat snacks. Let's get it. Before we start throwing paint on these shoes, I want to give you guys a quick look at them, so here we go. We have a primarily white upper that is constructed mainly of leather. We also see some ostrich print on the Nike swoosh, as well as the toe box. I'm not sure if they use ostrich leather for that. I believe it's just an imitation of it. And lastly, wrapping it up, we do have wooden eyelets at the very top of the shoe. So I'm working on this shoe for the co-owner of Prime Society. If you don't know who they are or what they do, they basically make very high quality bags. They just dropped an ostrich print bag that is royal blue, so he wanted these kicks to basically match that bag. So in this video, I'll be making the midsoles blue, as well as the uppers, and I will be adding some red hits requested by him on the upper eyelets, the tongue tag, as well as parts of the outsole. So now that you have all the background knowledge, let's get right into the prepping process. Since we're working on an all leather shoe, I'm definitely going to take my time and prepare it. So to do that, I'll be using the professional leather preparer and the glazer from Angelus Direct, and also a rag. If you don't know how to prep leather, all you need to do is get your rag or cotton ball and soak it in this and just start applying it like this. Just rub it very lightly and gently and make sure you go around the whole area that you're going to be painting. When shoes come in from the factory, they do have a protective film on top. And if you don't remove that film, it won't allow the paint to adhere properly. So you will see a lot of cracking when you start wearing the shoe. Like I said, you just want to rub this area until it feels kind of sticky. That's how you know that the film is off. You'll get a sticky feeling. That sticky feeling does go away after a while, but that's what you want to go for. Just make sure it feels sticky. Right now it's just very smooth. So let me get right to it. Yeah, I said lace them up, lace them up, lace them up, lace them up. Turn Nikes on my feet in the Freddy versus Jason. A murdering on cinema displays days by days that someone saved and engraved in their brain. They're partly trained to rave, they're mentally trained when they came to writing these movies and releasing all of their pain. Call it movies in my head. You should be glad that I do it too. In this video, I decided to go with the color red from Angelus Direct, and I also went with some duller to get rid of the shine a little bit. Tell us a dead. So I'ma prove it if I gotta spot with Rocky, but the last guy spot with had me screaming who could stop me. And honestly, it's not cocky, it's honesty. Mixed with property I've acquired through killing modesty. A modest man usually get it first, and I'm quick to burst and serve a bitch who's full of thirst. Oh my god, sneakerhead in the bay, that looks like shit. Give me a second, bro, give me a second. So while this is drying, what we're going to do is hit up the other areas so we could kind of kill two birds with one stone. I'm just gonna let that dry. We're gonna do three coats, three to four coats of this red. I think it's about four, four coats of red and then it's three coats of royal blue. So hit this and then we're gonna hit this. Let it dry for about 10, 15 minutes and we'll add our other coats. Tell me bitch and faggot shouldn't be said But I'ma scream every word I want until they announce me dead I see a twisted cop and ask him how we figure He can stop how I talk even if I'm yelling uh, uh. I can say some words and leave you mad But another Eminem and y'all can never deal with that I got Nikes on my feet Keep my cypher complete Like, 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 like Get in the Nikes on my feet Keep my cypher complete Like, 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 like Get in the Nikes See, I'm the type of dude with issues to pretend your shit to no jujitsu. Call it a fair fight to hand you the tissues. Damn, I wish you would say something smart so I could kill you with some knowledge. Hang you up and play some darts with Homer, Maggie, and Bard, and maybe Lisa. Pickpocket your ass to head the most with your visa. Get some pizza, maybe a few brews there. Search for your girl with the dude from Blue's Clues. Now that the red is nice and dry on the tongue, as well as the eyelets, I can start applying the royal blue paint. I will be using a couple paint brushes to help me get into hard to get areas that's why I have the smaller one and then the other one is a little bit bigger to help me get the coverage that I need get off the cartoons man I hate fake shit that's why I never liked your crew man this wordplay is much too easy you may call that chick wifey but we call that old sleazy 
Get Terrio, let them know that I killed them They used to call me Twinkie Cause some bitches, man, I filled them Give me words in the world And my dick is some pearls and some sights Just to see in the life I can be all I wanna be Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe Some of you are probably like This man's ruining these shoes right now What the heck is he doing? I'm telling you It looks very sloppy at first but once I add more coats to it, it will start looking like a legit custom. I promise. I promise you. I pinky freaking promise. It'll look better. All I wanna see, yeah. Maybe, maybe he said a 20s and a fucking Beamer. And maybe just the hook from my Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. Do you believe her? If you made it this far in the video, you're probably like, Alex, what are you doing, bro? Yeah, um, well, this is the first coat. And honestly, it looks like a second grader or maybe even a kindergartner painted this. But like I said, I promise it will look better. Pinky promise. We made a pinky promise together. You know how sacred that is? Sill still is the present ill calm as a druggy pill stomp on the crazy thrill. Acquire power, chill, jack him at watermill. Nimble as the realest trail, softer than the precious feel. Late from being afraid, safety at home, sheltered. Let me explain, tell the truth. Conscious of what is replaced by some fate that you create. Can't relate if there's no comprehension, not to mention the tensions through unmet pensions. Set foot outside the third dimension. Feel like high school is a long suspension. Yeah. Gray matter ask for much scatter. Saturn's patterns fall into what's clattered on the deck to the next batter. War was the ladder, pieces now shattered. Uh. Okay, so what's good people? I just finished painting the outsoles of the shoe and yes, I typically don't recommend painting outsoles or midsoles of this kind because it does chip over time and especially on the outsoles, once the paint is on there and you wear it, it's going to scrape off. So with this particular custom, I let my client know that the paint will chip off and it will scrape off if he does wear it and I believe he's going to use this as a display piece which is why I felt comfortable with doing this. But something like this, if it's getting worn man, you can't really expect it to stay on there. Paint isn't really meant for midsoles or outsoles. It just so happens to be that shoe companies like using paint for whatever reason, so yeah. Right now what I'm gonna do is take a little knife like this, my little shank, my prison shank, and I'm gonna scrape off all of the excess paint that I kind of slipped up on out there. It just scrapes right off with the knife. So I'm gonna make that 
uh, make it look a little bit more clean and then we should be good to go. All right, famo, everything is nice and finished. I'm gonna give you guys a quick look before I sign off. Here we go, the Just Dunks, full royal blue upper as requested, including the midsoles and hits of red on the tongue, the eyelets, as well as the outsole. Let me show you guys the other shoe real quick. This one will go perfectly with the bag. It's gonna look sick. Overall, I think this colorway came out real sick. It does remind me of the Just Dons, but because of the gum soles, it has a different look to it. It gives it a nice color blocking. With the Just Dons, it had that all blue outsole, so it wasn't broken up by any other color. So that gum sole really sets it off for me, but that's just a little personal opinion. The red hits, of course, hit it off as well. Makes it feel like the blue isn't overpowering the shoe too much. But yeah, man, this is the shoe. There we go. I forgot what these are called, but the, these in red too. So when he laces them up, they'll have that pop and they'll hit with the other accents of red. I wanted to do some nice B-roll for you guys outside, but it's just way too hot. And it's even hot in my room right now, just hotter outside. So that's why I just decided to show it to you guys in my room. But anyways, I think you got a decent look at it. So there you go, the Just Dunks. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button and follow me on Instagram at Sneakerhead in the Bay and Twitter at Bay Area Shoehead to keep updated with the latest and greatest news from your boy. I think we're cool for this video though. It's a bit long, so I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Sneakerhead in the Bay, I'm out. Peace.